I'm Kill the Vid. I am the host of the 9 to 5 Outlaw Reviews YouTube channel. In the past several weeks on my channel, I've introduced a series called Comics Come Alive, in which I produce motion comics about one or two a week, in which I'm doing the narration as well as the character voices. In particular, I've been uploading the EC Comics archives, in which EC Comics if you're not familiar with EC, EC Comics is the originator of horror comics in the 1950s. There was a lot of controversy that put, ultimately put them out of business, but EC Comics was known for Tales from the Crypt, The Vault of Horror, and The Hunt of Fear. But what EC was also known for creating such series as the uh, crime suspense stories and the shock suspense stories in the EC line. Shock suspense stories and stories with unpredictable endings and outcomes. But in particular, EC had introduced what are called preachies, which were morality tales having to do with social commentary and issues that are happening today, like the politics of war, anti-war, anti-Semitism, racism, bigotry, and the like. EC Comics unlike the previous publishers, were not afraid to introduce these stories to young readers alike. But they had a purpose in mind, which was to educate, to entertain, and to inform. And without, with that being said, I'm about to introduce a story, one of these EC preachies. And the story is called Hate. But I must warn, this presentation may prove may be found offensive to sensitive listeners and viewers. So, with that advisory which I presented to you, I now present Shock Suspense Stories, Hate. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you subscribe. I'm Kill the Vid, and this is the 9 to 5 Outlook Reviews. Shock Suspense, Suspense Stories. Stories. You'll be jarred by the startling climax of this shocking narrative. Hate, a shock suspense story. At the curb, the big red moving van stands quietly, its rear doors gaping open like the mouth of some mechanical monster. Even now, the husky movers are pulling articles of furniture from within it, lining the sidewalk before the quaint white house. On the porch, a man and a woman stand silent, staring at the yellow scrap of paper tacked upon the spotless door. What? Well, what does it say, Dave? It, it, it says, don't move in, Jew. You'll be sorry. We don't want Jews in this neighborhood. Your name is John Smith. You're an American with a good American name. You're a churchgoer, a family man, a respected member of your community. You're watching that couple across the street. Read the note you and your neighbors have tacked there. They see it, Ed. They're, they're reading it. Maybe they'll take the hint, eh, John? Look, they're going inside. Yes, John Smith. They're going inside. Perhaps there's no place else for them to go. You hate them, don't you, John? You and your neighbors hate Jews. They're, they're braided in the furniture, Ed. Dirty. They're asking for it. Now they're gonna get it! It doesn't matter that their parents and their parents' parents were born here, does it, John? They're Jews. That's all that matters. You think they're different, and you don't want them around. What next, Ed? Notes don't scare them. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. We'll have to do something. So now they're moved in, John. The threats didn't change their minds. The phone calls, the letters, the snide remarks you and your neighbors made, they didn't seem to matter to them. Perhaps they're used to that sort of thing, John. Well, let's break it up, boys. We'll talk about it tomorrow on the train. Okay, John. Hey, what's their names again, Charlie? Gold, Dave, and Ethel Gold. When did you first learn to hate John? Did your mother teach it to you? Did your childhood friends wise you up? Did you learn it from your wife, your child? Did Ed, your neighbor, tip you off? When, John, when did you become infected with the disease called hate? You look like nice people, John. Maybe they'll be all right. Perhaps, 
But it's nothing, Mary. They're Jews. They're no good. Did your father, a small town doctor, tell you that, John? Did he list the genetic differences between you and them? Did he tell you their blood was different, their bones, their heart? He was a doctor, John. He should have known. I say, let's run him out. You mean use force, Ed? Why not? We tried to warm them nicely. We phoned them. We wrote them letters. Maybe we beat them up. They'll sell and move. Otherwise, more will start coming in. No telling what will happen to our real estate values if that happens. Maybe you're right, Ed. He takes the same train you do, doesn't he, John? He wears the same kind of clothes, eats the same kind of food, smokes the same brand of cigarettes, roots for the same baseball team, but he's a Jew. So you and Ed and the others wait for him one night. Here he comes now. Wait till it, he gets here. It's darker here. And suddenly you're upon him, beating, kicking, swearing. Maybe you'll get the idea, Jew. We don't want you, Crumb. Move, damn you. Yeah, we'll do you. And you're a little sick that night when you get home, aren't you, John? There's blood stains on your shirt, blood on your hand, and you and the others did a good job, didn't you? What? What happened? He'll move now. We we took we took care of him. You don't see much of him after that night, do you, John? He takes a different train now. He crosses the street to avoid you, but he doesn't move, does he? Stop it! He won't learn! There's only one way! What's that, Ed? Burn them out! You mean set fire to their house? Why not? They'll have to move! I don't know. That's pretty rough. I'm for it, Ed! It's beginning to snowball, isn't it, John? It's beginning to get messy now. You hadn't planned on going that far, had you? What do you say, John? All right, Ed. I'll go along. Tonight, late. The plans are made. The hate festers. You don't even hear wife Mary's word. You're too engrossed in what lies ahead for Dave and Ethel Gold. I said, your mother's coming to visit us, John. She wrote. Eh, oh, 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 that's nice. <laughs> you, you better go on up without me, Mary. I got something to do tonight. And then you're out there, John, under the black star-studded sky with the boys whispering. I brought a can of gasoline. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Maybe now they'll decide it's too hot for them around here. The lighted match tossed on the gasoline-soaked shingles erupts into an orange glow. You watch as the hungry flames leap up the sides of the quaint white house. The lights on! They, they must be sleeping! They'll wake up in more ways than one! Soon, the house is a roaring inferno. You're uneasy, John. Why don't they come out? The whole bottom floor is a mass of flame. Suddenly, Fire! Fire! Help! Look! At the window! They're up there, on the second floor, screaming hysterically. The fiery light of the consuming flame silhouettes them. They're, they're, they're trapped up there! They're going to jump! Wait! The woman leaps first, her body limp like a rag doll. She hits the ground with a dull thud. The man falls, howling like a hurt dog. Ah! Good lord! And then the confusion as the fire engines arrive. The wailing of the ambulance side. What side? That back! The panic as the neighborhood pours out of its house. It's going to spread! All of our homes will go up! And the flames of hate are brought under control. Temporary before the ambulance doctor announces, This woman is dead. Broken neck. The man, the man's dead too. Were they different from you, John Smith? Did they have to die because of it? Go back to your home, John. Stand and watch from your window as the last wisp of smoke fades away from the blackened skeleton of their once lovely home. You, you and the boys killed them, John! It was an accident, Mary. We only wanted to scare them. Why did this have to happen? Don't go soft, Mary. They were Jews. We don't want Jews. They're no good. John, John. Is that my son talking? Mother Smith! Ma, we didn't hear you come in. No, but I heard. I heard it all. I'm, I'm ashamed of you, John. Hey, John, 
They're starting to snoop around. They're all. Did he help you? Did he help you kill them? Please, Ma. Ed, this is my mother. I'm not your mother. Not your real mother. Ma, it's my neighbor, please. I, I better go, John. No, stay. Listen. My husband was a doctor. One night they sent for him. There'd been an accident. A man killed. His pregnant wife injured. My husband delivered the baby before she died. Are you listening, John? Are you? We took that baby in. We brought him up as our own. And so in our own faith. Ma, you made... I never intended to tell you, John. I never had to. Yes, you're adopted. Ma! Your parents, your real parents, were Jewish. Are you different, John? Are you different now? Do you feel any different? Do you look any different? Are you the same man you were 10 minutes ago, watching the last wisp of smoke fade away? Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <coughs> Where are we going to be going? Now, look up, John. Look at Ed. Look how he's staring at you. Do you see it, John? Do you see the hate there in his eyes? Ed, wait! Ed! Let him go! Let him go, John! What now, John? What can you do now, now that you found out? How stupid I've been! How stupid, stupid! Come to bed, John. Can you sleep, John? Can you close your eyes and not see those silhouettes against the fiery flames? Those screaming figures falling right rag dolls? <laughs> oh, Lord, Lord, forgive me! And how do you like it, John? When the boys turn away when you sit next to them on the train. Ed, for Pete's sake, we've known each other for ten years! <laughs> or when they cross the streets to avoid you. Charlie! It's John, the same John. Is there anything different Man, about me? How about that time your son comes home from school? Rag, torn, cut, bruised. Uh, they, they called me, they called me a, a Jew boy. You're John Smith. You're an American, John. How can they do this How? to you now? What does it say, John? It, it, it says, move Jew. We don't want Jews in this neighborhood. What is the difference, John? What made you hate them? Why do they hate you now? Can't you see? Can't you see how wrong we were? How wrong we've been? Scrammed you! Hate is deep, John. Hate is embedded. Where do we learn it? Who teaches to us? How can it be untaught? Look, John, they're waiting for you. There, in the dark place. Maybe you'll get the idea, too. We don't want you, Crumb. Move, damn you! The beating is painful, isn't it, John? Is it your punishment? Must pain be the only teacher? Can we learn without pain? Can we learn to love instead of hate? You're learning now, aren't you? The kicking, the swearing, it teaches you. We told you to move, but why didn't you? But now you're gonna get it. Yeah, kick his ass. But the others, when will they learn the end?